Books are bound uh, starting from leaves, sheets of paper, or in the past, um, of parchment. So uh, different materials are, uh, m mean different, different techniques to create the book. After folding these sheets, you uh, um, end up with sections that are made of bifolia. Those sections are then joined together through the passage of thread with a needle, and they can be sewn on supports or simply through stitching, they're joining them on the back, so on the folds. Byzantine binding have sewing unsupported, so made of sections that are joined together simply with the passage of thread with the needle. Byzantine bindings are very peculiar because of some specific physical feature that identifies them. First of all, the boards are flash with, uh, with the book block. We end up with something that is not like a Western book uh, where you have the squares, as we call them. So the boards that are attached at the end of the sewing actually protrude from, from the book block. The most striking feature is the end bend. The end bend that protrudes from, from the book because it's sewn on top at head and tail, so uh, top and bottom, and is done outside what I said, the, the, the boards and the book blocks. Then there are other smaller details, like one very unique, I would say, are the grooves along the edges of the wooden boards, head, foredge and tail. And though we don't really even know exactly why, this is just made for aesthetical reason. This one specifically is a 15th century, as I said, 15th century manuscript, so still in the, in the time when uh, it's considered you know, the pure Byzantine style. We can immediately see this very peculiar feature where the hand bends, a head and tail, protrude from the height of the entire book block. In the original one, we also have a very nice decoration of the edges of the boards. And this, again, is quite typical of, uh, of Byzantine binding. These are the reproductions of the original tools that were used to decorate this binding in the 15th century. So you can actually see from this, you gain that, that impression.